I can't fish and ch update the leaderboard at the same time. It's too complicated for a simple human like me. I fuck everything up. Is there any evidence that the brain exists? No, but that's our only chance to win. If the brain doesn't exist, it will mean the end of mankind. Investigations are happening all over the world, but we still haven't found anything like a brain. Hello everyone, this is Should I Series. Now, Dark Side Phil needs our help. He needs that money right now. He's got to pay his electric bill, his cable bill, his internet bill, his Netflix bill, that WWE subscription bill. I mean, he's going to lose the house if we don't get him that $1,800 in one day. Actually, excuse me, one week. So we got to help him out. So we're going to do a, charita a charitable donation raffle today. We're going to do that... Uh, uh, we're going to make some food of his. We're going to start by making his famous tuna salad sandwich. And then we're going to go and make his meatballs. And hopefully we'll be able to raise the $1,800 he needs before uh, the Halloween. Now, we're going to do this. And you're just going to get banned, you asshole. All right. Now, hopefully we have some um, big donations today. I have a good feeling about this. And... Uh, if we make the donation goal, I'm going to have a big positive reveal. So let's let's hope this all works out, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Should I Series. If I hit this fucking mount thing and the camera just flies everywhere, I apologize. It's that stupid live stream gear I bought. So I finally get to use it and get to use both hands. All right, so we're going to make DSP's famous tuna salad. So what we're going to do is we're going to need at least one or two cans of chunk light tuna in water, specifically. Don't get it in the a milk crap he doesn't like that you want to get miracle whip because this tastes better than mayonnaise it's lower in fat and you know we're all fat asses this is supposed to be a really healthy meal compared to everything else we eat we want to get some uh, sandwich pickles Ooh, I just spilled that everywhere we want I like these Clawson ones they got a little bit of garlic on it but you can get whatever kind of pickle you want we're gonna need some cheese just one or two pieces of cheese you're gonna need some shredded lettuce. I got pre-shredded lettuce because that's what lazy people do. And you're gonna need a plate with some bread on it. I gotta go get some Texas toast here in a minute. I forgot to get that. And you're gonna need a measuring cup for the mayonnaise, for the Miracle Whip, excuse me. I'm gonna say mayonnaise a lot. And you're gonna need some Tangere gin to get started with this specifically a lot of gin so now we're gonna do this dsp style fuck editing we're not gonna edit nothing because we don't give three fucks about anything so we're gonna start this here we're gonna get our cans of tuna and we're gonna open them up now since we're not in a third world country i got a perfectly good can opener here if you don't have a can opener at home well you should get yourself one it would be silly not to now DSP recommends that you don't open it all the way. Uh, I think that's silly. You should just open it all the way and uh, we'll drain the juice out. So we'll get this one open and we'll get the other one open. Alright, now that we got them open, let's go over to the sink and drain them off. Now you want to get as much water out of these as you can. Alright, so we'll get this in here. And we'll press down pretty hard on them and drain them real nice. Just make sure some of your tuna doesn't come out. There we go. Oh, it looks like I got a donation here from, from Emerald7. It says, do you work at a restaurant or something? What do you think of DSP owning a restaurant? Let's see how much money he gave me. Let's see... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About nine, ten bucks. Well, thank you, Emerald Seven, for the donation. Yes, I do work in a restaurant. It is after hours. This is how I make my videos. I think DSP owning a restaurant, ironically, would probably be the worst thing ever. He's a little lazy, and uh, laziness doesn't work so well in a restaurant. He said that he could hire somebody to do it for him but your job as the manager is to make sure you know all the rules regulations and laws and you still have to watch what your employees do you can't trust your employees i mean they can just get a job anywhere but you're screwed holding the bag with anything else all right so we're going to 
put this in here. We'll get our spoon out. Now you want to get some of this tuna in here. Now two cans probably going to be a lot for two orders, but we're going to get we're just going to make probably two cans. Now we're ri DSP's got some money. We're poor, but we're going to not save this tuna. It's not worth our time to save the tuna. Do the same thing with the other one. We'll get all this done. Get this out nice. Mmm, smells nice and tuna y. And we still got a little left in the can, but we're just gonna throw this out too. I mean, we shop at expensive Whole Foods places and we don't ever go into Walmart. That would just be silly. Alright, now the recipe calls for half a cup of Miracle Whip. So we're gonna measure out our Miracle Whip inside our container here. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can't see. Can't really see what I'm doing too well. Now it looks like it's gonna be a lot of mayonnaise. Or excuse me, Miracle Whip just for this half a cup. Yeah, what do we got? I think I got about half a cup there. Let me take a better look. Yeah, that should be that should be about a cup because we're doing two orders. All right, so we're gonna put this mayonnaise right into here. You know, this is the best part. I keep calling it mayonnaise. It's fucking Miracle Whip. I don't eat. I personally don't eat Miracle Whip. I don't know how people eat this shit, it just tastes nasty. Now there is a couple other things we can do with this. Oh, I completely forgot. So after I get this Miracle Whip out, now you can add celery to this, you can add onions to this, but we're gonna add some garlic powder to it. And then we're gonna call it onion powder later. So we got some garlic powder. So after we get the rest of this Miracle Whip out, we're gonna put it right in here. Got as much of this as I can. All right, there we go. We're gonna mix this up a little bit first. We're gonna mix it until it's not so fucking mayonnaise-y. Oh yeah. All right, that's good for now. We're gonna put a couple, a little bit of this in here. Now I got. Miracle Whip all over me. That looks good. So just be careful you don't get it all over yourself when you're mixing it. Now sorry that my thing is shaking back and forth, but it's not sitting on my chest too well. A little bit more. Now the proper way to mix it is pretty easy. Now I just got another donation from Cat is the positive reveal a cat? Let's see how much she donated. She donated five dollars. Oh, thank you. No, the uh, positive reveal is not a cat. You guys will find out if we hit the goal. But if we don't hit the goal, we're obviously not going to uh, release this. Let me go put this with my other money over here. We obviously won't have the goal. I mean, what's the point of the incentive if we're not going to... Uh, hit the goal. Alright, so I got this done. So I'm going to go get... Wow, this used uh, quite a bit of Miracle Whip. Jesus Christ, look how much they used. Alright, we're going to get the bread real quick. So let me go to the refrigerator and get that bread. What the wrong way? What is this? Oh, it's another donation from Evil AJ. It says, it says subscribe to Soma Julius Cruz. I have no idea who the hell that is. Thank you for the dollar tip. All right. Whoop. Hit that. Where's, where's the bread? Here we go. Alright, 
we got the bread here. We're gonna go back. We're gonna make that sandwich. We're gonna actually go get this panini press started too. So I just went last night and bought this George Foreman uh, grill press here. It doesn't look too bad. It's about like $30 or so. Uh, apparently these turn sandwiches into uh, gourmet dinners. But we're gonna plug this baby in. And it should be getting heated. You can barely see it, but the red light should be on. We're gonna wait until it's green, and then we're gonna come back and it should be ready by that time. We'll press down our sandwich. Well, there's another donation here. It's, it's from Trans Lenub. Oh, that's Snort Burnell backwards. Are you a DSP fan? Let's see how much money he gave me first before I read this out loud. Only a dollar. Come on, guys, you can't just tip a dollar. I mean, I need more money than that. When I actually just get a dollar, you know, I only actually get in reality 60 cents or so and then 30 cents of that has to go to taxes we'll put this with the other one over here but yes i am a dsp fan uh, probably the first video i saw of him though was the this is how you don't play metal gear solid 2 uh review when it first came out and i mean that's a awesome video I, it was like 2013 or something i spent a lot of time uh watching those so much so that I literally got DSP's mannerism after like three months of it. I was playing a lot of um, EVE Online and I needed stuff to do between the spreadsheets. All right, now you're gonna put quite a bit of this in the middle because if you uh, put it to the sides on a panini press, the uh, it will just squish down and come out the sides. This should be about good. We're gonna save the rest of this to the side. Now, you can add anything you want to this, but what I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add some of these uh, pickles here. Now, we're not gonna touch them with our hands. We're gonna get ourselves a uh, fork or something. I guess I got, what do I got here? I will use, yeah, I'll use one of these. I'll use one of these to get it out. So we're gonna get like two of these out. These things are excellent. See, we're just gonna do that right there. We'll get one more. I mean, it's my own pickle jar. I don't know why I can't just reach in it myself, but you know, we, we wanna be food safety. Oh, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna put on our piece of cheese. I like the Kraft Single American cheeses. I'm just pull it right out here. You're more than welcome to get something from the dairy section, but that wouldn't be as fun. We'll put that on. And then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, lettuce on here. We don't wanna do too much lettuce, but we don't wanna do just a tiny amount. All right, so that should be good. Plop our bread right on the top. Oh, now you can see it came off the sides a little bit here. I guess I put too much on it, so we're gonna try and peel some of that away. Because if we put, put it on the panini press right now, it will go just everywhere so just be careful when you do this don't get as much on there as I just did man this thing is a mess let's get this off of here let's fuck with this for a minute now you you guys know I put out quality content so I hope you like this video I hope this uh, sandwich is gonna be good all right so we'll take this and we'll go over to our area here. Oh, I, looks like I got another donation. It says from Mighty Derp, are you worried about a detractor like Almighty Tevin stealing your video? I, I mean, it's illegal. I wish he wouldn't steal my videos. But if he wants to steal them, he's more than welcome to. That would be fine by me. Let's see how much money did I get. I got $4. Thank you, Mighty D, for the $4. We're going to take this over and put it with the other ones do, do, do. come over here all right let's check to see oh it feels nice and hot you can't see it oh, I gotta put this money down you know you should never touch money and food at the same time but I'll, I'll make an exception because it's just for me I don't know if DSP could handle himself let's see how it looks 
Uh, the red light's still on, so we're going to need another minute here. Let's go see if I got anything else. I'm going to have a sip of my drink. Hmm. Well, it looks like I got another donation from uh, Planet Jeff. I don't have much money, but am giving all I can. Will this help? How much did you give me? You only gave me a dollar. No, dollars will not help. I need to get paid now, and this just isn't going to be acceptable. I need hundreds of dollars. I got an $1,800 bill that I have to give to Phil this month, and that's that's just not going to be, that's not going to help them with this charitable cause. All right, you can smell the new grill. Well, it's finally green for ready, so we're going to put on our uh, sandwich here. Put it right in the middle. We're gonna press it down. Now I'm gonna kind of angle the camera a little bit better. You can see it in there. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna grab a, a spatula, and while I, while we're waiting for that, it should just be a couple minutes. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go wash some dishes because that would be the smart thing to do. Look at all this fucking mess I got over here, Jesus. Alright, where is the spatula to get it off? I guess I gotta use one of my big ones. I think this should work. <laughs> oh, if you can hear it, it's crackling in there, so that's good means it's cooking just nice. Let me see if I can take it off my little thing and show you guys. I'll put my finger in there. Oh, it looks like it's coming out a little bit. We don't want that. That's no good. We probably definitely put a little too much tuna on there, but that'll be fine. We'll go clean our area and we'll come back. I got a timer right on the clock, so we should be good with that. Huh. Donations seem a little slow tonight. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully uh, the meatballs turn out better. But you know, I got a I got a good feeling about it still. I got a really good feel. I think we'll be alright. I like these pickles though. I think I'm gonna have one. Hmm. If you like pickles, you should get these. Honest to God. Hmm. Oh, there is one other thing I gotta go get. Go oh, get that mirror. See the good old mirror. Now you see those bald spots right there? See them parking spaces? Good stuff. Now while we wait, I do have a fun fact. I was trying to make a video on it, but it, uh, Hasn't came out very well, but uh, Wegmans is in a uh, class action lawsuit with uh, regards to their ice cream. There we go, perfect. So that looks good. See, I look like a special needs child with this fucking thing. Anyway, <laughs> their ice cream on the ingredients list does not list vanilla or vanilla bean or natural vanilla flavors on it. So, some autists. Well, that looks pretty good, actually. I think that's about done, so we're going to take that off. Anyway, some uh, people hired a lawyer, and they uh, are claiming that because it doesn't have vanilla in it, and they're claiming that because uh, it doesn't have vanilla in it, 
they're misleading customers still looks good so the um, idea I'm gonna put it back on the stand is that uh, because it doesn't have vanilla in it where is it getting the vanilla flavor uh, apparently the money.com article if you google it it uh, you have to google Wegmans vanilla ice cream lawsuit if you just google vanilla ice cream you don't get it but uh, in the money.com article it says that one of the natural places you can get ice cream from is uh, beaver anal secretion so basically beaver fucking shit which is kind of gross but all right looks like i gotta take this out all right so got a little sloppy on the thing over there so we'll fix that but the lines look nice so i'm gonna do what i do best and i'm gonna take a bite of it now i really 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 don't like miracle whip but this is for charity so we're just gonna have to get over it to see God, Miracle Whip just makes everything so sickly sweet. It's all right though, I mean, it's tuna. But should I recommend you eat this? No, but should you donate to DSP? You'll decide next video. I mean, we got one more part to do so he can make his uh, payment. So I'm gonna go enjoy this. I mean, there's not really much to it. If you like Miracle Whip, this is Miracle Whip and tuna. I want it panini press this just doesn't make it a gourmet sandwich but it's still good i'll see you on part two